Ow. Feels like something got ripped from my jaw. How's it going everybody? So in about two hours, I'm gonna get three teeth pulled. So I'm gonna get this intro over now and I'm probably not gonna talk for a while. So this might be a music style video. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this yet. So before I start this project, I really wanted to say thank you to every single one of you that have been watching my videos or hitting the like button because that's been pushing out my content so much farther recently that I'm actually getting ad revenue enough to where I can actually invest in this YouTube channel, which is exactly what I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've been able to upgrade my audio. I have a new lav system. That's what I'm using right now. So the audio should sound a little bit better than it has been in the past. And recently I've been able to invest in my first real camera. I have never had a real camera before. Now this is very exciting to me. Anybody who knows cameras knows that this actually isn't that expensive of a camera. This is one of the cheaper models and I also bought it used. I'm pretty sure it was also made in like 2014, but it is amazing to me. It is I am so happy that I actually have something nice to film on because what I'm filming on right now is my smartphone. Uh, that's what I've been doing for the last two years or so is just filming on the smartphone. Anyway, enough, enough rambling. What today's video is about is because I have this new camera system, I wanted to create a quick mount system for my tripod. This is a tripod I built in an earlier video right there. And I'll, I'll link that in the description, but I'm also going to put that on an end card. So if you want to see that, you'll see how I built that. So what today's video is going to be about is about this quick mount system. This is so that you don't have to constantly screw these little thumb screws into your, oh, here we go, into your camera. You can just, there we go. You quick mount and snaps right into place. This is the prototype for the one I want to build today. This was just kind of the quick and dirty version just to get, just to make sure that I understood the concept. Um, and I want to make a handful of these with different kind of handles and things so I can move them around the shop and actually get the shots that I want. Okay, so the biggest issue that I've had with this, let's see if we can get this off without dropping the camera. Uh, the biggest issue that I had with this is this is the shoe mount that I ended up, I'm sorry, that's not a shoe mount, that's a quick mount. This is a shoe mount. This is a quick mount. So the reason that I wanted to rebuild this, and I'm really glad that I did a prototype because I made this before the lens came in the mail, and the issue is it's not balanced anymore. And so I actually want to extend the quick mount out front a little bit so that the camera can sit on its base like this.
Okay, so all three of these are done. Uh, this one, not sure what happened there. Uh, somebody made a mistake, obviously, and I've had to patch that. It probably wasn't my fault. It was probably somebody else's fault. Ellie, did you, did you drill the holes wrong? Yeah, yeah, Ellie drilled the hole wrong. And so I'm here having to fix it, but it's not that big of a deal. You know, little kids, sometimes they just make mistakes, but uh, you know, we're here to help them <laughs> and fix, fix all of their problems. Um, and actually there has been a couple of days between last time I filmed and this time. I have been playing with this camera a lot over the last couple of days because I went on vacation and I took a ton of photos. And this thing is just amazing if you can figure out the settings. Uh, it's really, <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to learning proper photography, but I'm gonna place a couple of photos here uh, so you guys can see what this camera is actually capable of and why I'm so excited to have this thing. So now all we have to do is sand everything. I'm gonna go ahead and put a linseed oil over everything. And I think the linseed oil is also gonna penetrate into my spring and I think it's gonna make it a much more tight spring. I'm not really sure what the linseed oil is gonna do for that action there. I don't really know. So we're gonna learn. Maybe it'll ruin it, I'm not sure. But we're gonna go ahead and try that and see if it works. These are turning out amazing. I love the look that the boiled linseed oil gets. Um, one of the biggest issues that you have when you're putting on a finish is this underside right here. If you're putting on some sort of a top coat, like a shellac or a polyurethane, a lot of times you'll end up with a little bit of a drips here. But if you kind of want a no nonsense, really quick and easy way of putting these together, get something like an oil. You can get like a boiled linseed oil or a teak oil or a Danish oil, something like that. And what that does is it actually seeps into the wood, especially on the end grain. Uh, ends up giving a real nice clean color along the whole thing. You'll notice that the end grain isn't that much darker than the edge, but you'll usually get some sort of an effect where you see the difference between the end grain and the face grain here. But most of all, you won't ever get any drips provided you don't completely slather the thing. You just kind of wipe it off a little bit and it's pretty much foolproof on its own. With the shellacs and the polyurethanes, you'll usually get little drips on here that you have to maintain as you go. Excuse me, excuse me, talking part. <laughs> and the, uh, yeah, so the oils are gonna be a lot easier to do. Mostly I stick with the boiled linseed oils, but like I said, the Danish oil and the teak oil give you different effects. Excuse me, excuse me, talking. <laughs> My favorite is the boiled linseed oil. 
And my favorite is the boiled egg. <laughs> I'm trying to do a talking part. Hey, hey. <laughs> You are so distracting. Cool. Well, thank everybody for watching. Uh, if you're interested in any of the kind of photos that have been taken recently, I've been putting those over on Instagram. I'll put that as the top link of the description. And so if you're interested in that kind of thing, go ahead and check that out. It's mostly shop related stuff and uh, sneak peeks for like next week's video, that sort of thing. If you're interested in that kind of thing, I'll be posting them there. So anyway, thanks for watching. Catch y'all next time. <laughs> Hey Ellie, guess what? I think you're ticklish. Hey Ellie, guess what? I think you're ticklish.